Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review or card game review for the game Chicken Challengers by Dwight Ong and published by Hero Time. The game plays two to six players, takes roughly 20 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages eight and up. And in the game Chicken Challengers, you will be starting off with three cards, then on your turn choosing to draw a card from the deck or play a card from your hand, and then passing. The objective of the game is to gather eight unique chickens in the deck into your hand, and if you do that, you you win on your turn. There are a ton of different cards in the game. For instance, there are challenge cards that will allow you to pick a player and choose them to play a chicken from their hand face down and you as well, revealing them and then the person who has the higher number wins. If there's a tie, you'll rinse and repeat until there isn't one and the winner will get up to four chickens maximum into their hand. There's super challenge cards, which allow you to challenge everybody on the field in the same way a challenge card would do. You have counter cards that can stop other cards, including counter cards from being played. You're then going to get the chickens. You're going to have normal chickens and you're also going to have special chickens. Uh, normal chickens are just going to allow you to take a card at random from a player if you want to play it as an action, where special ones will allow you to discard that card and take one, uh, take a card from the discard pile and put it into your hand. And then finally, the most luxurious and eloquent card in the game is the action card. There are tons of different action cards and they all do different things, whether it be taking cards from opponents, having them lose turns, allowing you to play extra actions, and gathering unique new cards into your hand from either the discard card pile or other players hands and some other unique spicy variants as well. The gameplay is rather simple. Like I said, shuffle the deck, deal three cards to each player and then choose. Do you want to draw a card on your turn or do you want to play a card on your turn and use that specific action and put it into the discard pile? Once you're done doing one of those two actions, you'll pass and each player will continue doing so up until the point where somebody receives eight chicken cards into their hand. The moment that happens, as long as it's that player's turn, they win the game. Chicken Challenger is quite simple and quite straightforward, and that's basically how you play the game. Let's review it now. So much like most take that style card games, uh, Chicken Challengers has a lot of luck introduced into it. Shuffling the deck and dealing out three random cards allows you to have a variety of different cards come into your hand, but it's also going to be random. You could get three chickens, you could get three actions, you can get three counter cards. Your mainstay is drawing cards because more card power means more likelihood of winning, whether it be to gather more chickens or more actions you can play later that will generate more chickens for you when you choose to play them. Very straightforward and very simple party style game. This is the game that's going to see play in a lot of party situations with younger kids and of course, of course the family situations as well. The game is set for pretty much anybody to play and if your family or your card or game group has played stuff like Exploding Kittens before this is going to be something that will be easy to pick up and easy to learn how to play and it has the same type of chaos that most of those games would also introduce into it. The game is very simple though not a huge amount of complexities and your options are limited to the number of cards in your hand that you can choose to play or just simply passing by drawing a card. Uh, what you want to do will depend on the situation and depend on the number of players in the game and obviously the number of players will determine how good certain action cards will be, allowing other players to give you certain things or challenge cards that affect every player. And so because of this, I prefer to play the game with at least three players. The two player variant is fine, but it's kind of a back and forth setting and you kind of know who's going to win with a snowball type of effect. Whereas when you're playing with three or more players, the chaos ensues. And this game is basically all about chaos. That's the whole point of it. If you don't like chaos or games that inspire random amount of chaos in it, this is not the game for you. It's pretty straightforward. Now, that being said, it's it's a kid's game. This game is made for younger adults, made for the teens and tweens to jump on and play. This is a game I could easily see myself playing when I was back in high school, junior high, middle school, dropping down in a session area with my friend group and playing the game, the game Chicken Challengers. Uh, the game has a ton of beautiful artwork, very, very unique and interesting type of chickens, and all of them are going to have some unique, uh, special, I guess, flavor texture, you'd say. Like, this is a Malay hen. She's tall and she's got legs of steel. What more could you ask for? And then it has the unique artwork. And that's my favorite part about the game, actually. I know that's kind of a weird thing, is, but I really enjoy the fact that every card is unique and it has its own type of flavor and the fact that the chickens have their own values on them. You can discard certain chickens with lower values to gain new ones from your other player's hands or from the discard pile when it's a special card. And so because of that, there is a unique sort of strategy that is involved in the game by do you want to draw a random card or do you want to interlace your hand with strong chickens that can facilitate you in winning challenges? Because 
because challenges can net you a ton of chickens and uh, turn the tide for other players. If you're losing and only have one or two chickens, but both of them are eights or an eight and a nine, that can give you the potential to gather four unique chickens, pushing to you to up to five or six, which is enough to almost win the game. So you're never really quite out when you're playing this game. Uh, the quality of the box is wonderful. This is actually a really nice tuck box with a nice magnetic setting, and I do like that. All the cards work well. I wish they would have went up one more set as far as the quality of the cards go so that they don't get little cuts and creases as easily. We've played this probably about 10 times so far, and there's already a couple cards that are kind of a little bent, but otherwise not too bad. Nothing you would actually notice when playing a game like this, and most likely a game like this will end up getting destroyed over a course of period of time because you're playing and shuffling and dealing and throwing cards at each other, and that's kind of part of what a game like this kind of entails. Strategic, modern style gamers might not enjoy this game as much, uh, but there's still a setting and a place for it. Now, when I played with all of my friends, people uh, were either really on board with it or pretty much like, yeah, this is kind of a cool game, reminds me of this and that, and I wouldn't mind playing it. Nobody was like fully against playing this game, but there's definitely a setting for this game. That's gonna be with parties, drinking buddies, or of course the family setting or the school setting with younger adults or of course younger teens and tweens. But overall, this is a fun game. This is an enjoyable game. This is a game I've played more than one occasion or one setting, and it's something that I'm definitely gonna keep in my collection, especially for when younger kids come by. This is something that I can bring out, explain the rules in like three seconds, and bam, they're ready to jump into the game and learn a little bit about the social aspects of the game, the memory of what chickens are in what people's hands, and of course, how they can utilize their hand to gather the most chickens in order to win the game. If you're interested in Chicken Challengers, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up the game. And of course, let me know what you think about the game down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Chicken Challengers. If you're interested, there's more stuff on the website, unfilteredgamer.com. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. Like this video, share this video. It's all greatly appreciated. Moonshell's coming along. Last little thing to finish and then everything is ready to go. And we're really excited to show you more about that soon. But you can check out the website, moonshell.game.com if you'd like to see what we've been doing with the game. All right, guys, thank you so much. And as always, I look forward to gathering my chickens before they hatch with you next time.